days in. That is why people fear. Because subhanallah, whenever his, his name is mentioned, it is quickly associated with the Amal of Qawmulut. My brothers and sisters, Muslims today, and people of the world are finding themselves under siege. People of the world today are under siege, being bombarded with messages about homosexuality, being bombarded with messages about LGBTQ+. And we are being forced to accept this undesired behavior, a behavior that was never known on earth before the people of Qawmulut. Today, when we speak against homosexuality, as I'm going to speak today, because that is the position of Islam, and it will never change. The position of Muslims and Islam against homosexuality will never change ila yawm al qiyamah. Come what happens. Whatever forces and whatever might are going to be behind propelling and pushing this undesired behavior down the throats of people of the world, the Islamic position will never change. When we speak against homosexuality, we are portrayed as attacking people's identities. Because historically, homosexuality throughout the history of man was associated with an act, not identity. Throughout history, homosexuality was simply associated with actions and not the identity of people. However, today, entire identities and institutions are built around this sexual orientation. LGBTQ. LGBTQ plus. What is it? What does it stand for? LGBTQ plus is an acronym. Acronym of the identity of persons with certain behaviors. L stands for lesbians which refer to a group of women who are attracted either sexually or romantically to other women. The G is for gays, which refers to men who are attracted sexually or romantically to other men. And then we have the T. So before that, we have the B, which stands for bisexual, which refers to a person who is attracted sexually and or romantically to both men and women. Then we hear about transgender, the T. Now here, it refers to a person whose gender identity is against his or her physical features. A person whose physical features clearly show that he's a man, but he feels he's a woman and behaves like a woman. Or a woman whose physical features clearly show that she's a woman, but she identifies herself as a man. 
Q, start wondering, what is this Q for? It's for queer, queer. Or sometimes, or a question, people who don't, do not know, who claim to not know their identity, whether they are men or women, subhanAllah. And now there is a plus. That plus is there for expansion. Anything else that will come can be added. It's there for expansion. And yesterday, when I was Googling, just to understand clearly what this acronym of LGBTQ plus stands for, I saw another addition. LGBTQAI plus. So now there is AI plus. So the plus is there for expansion, which means that the agenda is big. To provide expansion, to include more and more people with such kind of undesired behavior. What is Islamic position against homosexuality? And when you look at all these LGBTQ, all of them fall under homosexuality. All of them. They fall under homosexuality. We remind ourselves and remind the world that Islam categorically prohibits homosexuality. Its teachings, the teaching of Islam on gender relations and sexual norms are fundamental. They are fundamental and they are not separable. You cannot separate, separate them from the belief in Allah. And you cannot separate them from the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is foundational and fundamental. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, defined man, kind, as male and female. This is the definition of the creator azza wa jal. When he said in the Quran, "Audhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, ya ayuha nas inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa unsa." All mankind. This verse was not addressed to the believers. This verse was addressed to the whole of mankind. It was addressed to the whole of humanity. Allah says, O oh mankind, indeed, we have created you from a male and female. <clears throat> this is how Allah Azza wa Jalla has defined mankind. Male and female. There are no lesbians, there are no gays, there are no transgenders, there are no bisexuals. Male and female. And this verse, clearly states that mankind can only be formed. Mankind can only be formed by the pair, two opposite genders, male and female. No same gender, no same gender can give birth to a child. No two men can give birth to a child. And no two female can give birth to a child. No wonder in the WhatsApp, there was a lot that was said about the statements of the late President Mugabe. And I think you saw it, the WhatsApp. It's alleged that he said, lock them in jail until one of them gives, up, gives birth. I think you've seen this in the WhatsApp. Where Mugabe said, if a male gets, wants to have a marriage with a man, put them in jail and free them only when one of them has given birth. It will never happen. Now, Islam affirms that men and women spiritually are equal in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
That's a clear position of Islam. That men and women spiritually are equal before the creator of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, each of them has different characteristics. Physically, biologically, even emotionally. They are different. And because of this, the two have different roles. And that's why we've always advocated for this statement. That accepts Islam, accepts that men and women are equal, but not identical. Islam accepts that men and women are equal, but not identical. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given each one of them duties, obligation, and rights depending on their nature. So if they are not identical, they cannot have identical rights. If they are not identical, they cannot have identical duties. If they are not identical, they cannot have identical obligations or identical roles. In Islam, sexual relations are only permitted within the boundaries of marriage. In Islam, sexual relations are only permitted in the boundaries of marriage. And marriage can only occur between a man and a woman, even under the constitution of Kenya. In the Quran, Allah explicitly, not implicitly, explicitly, clearly condemns sexual relations with the same gender. And he says, وَالَّذَانِ يَأْتِيَانِهَا مِنْكُمْ فَآذُوهُمَا If two men